Well, it's Saturday morning about 7.15. Beautiful. Rain is expected in the afternoon. I'm loaded up. Getting ready to go to East Beach Farmer's Fair. I picked these up yesterday. Hedge trimmers. Three pruners. I don't know. There's uh, six or seven, maybe eight knives in there. I got my tables and my sharpeners and my generator, which I hope I don't need. My truck is getting in need of a stretcher. I put I put all this in here last night, locked it up, so I wouldn't have to rush around. I left all this stuff. I put it in this morning. All right, I'm getting ready to go. Stand by. Everybody's getting set up. I am uh, just about set up. Here are the stuff I showed you in the box this morning. I got it all out. It's a whole set of Wolfstoffs. And I think it's a hankle here and a hankle here. And there's the three pruners and the hedge trimmer. Not too bad, but they're just a little teeny bit dull. Not, not too bad at all, considering a lot of knives I see. Two of the pruners are in real good shape. One is uh, a little dull. No nicks, no scratches. No, they're you know, they don't even need cleaning up. Apparently, she cleans them off after each use. You can see they're almost like brand spanking new, and she's had them. She said ten or fifteen years. I don't know how long she's had these, but. They're nice. These are the expensive ones too. I like them. Well, I got two. I got a Victor Knox and another Victor Knox. And I got two that just came in. I got I Ikeas, I call them. Yeah, a little bit rough shape. I'm going to tune them up a little bit on the buffer. It chips them. I just took all the chips out. I got four more now, if I didn't show you these already. Cut Cove, Restaurant Type, Germain. I don't know what this is. Then I got five over here. Then I got five over here. One single Woodstock. A Wolfstoff and a Cuisinart. Knives are picking up. Hell, yeah, well, I forgot about these. I got a shun here. A shoon, I should say. Look at that chip. Can you see that chip? That's a terrible chip in that, baby. It's got two or three little ones along the way. And I ain't determined what this one is yet. A nada. And then it's got three of these. Looks like nice knives. I see no mark, no names. No, anything on them, but I like them. Okie dokie. Well, when this light turns green, I'll be headed home. I was so busy, I didn't get a chance to shoot any videos much today. The place was jumping. I got a lot of knives. I don't know how many. I haven't counted them up yet. And only a few pictures of them. I mean, videos of the knives, but I got a lot of pictures. I think I took pictures of almost all of them because that's how I keep them straight with, with pictures. Who's who and so on and so forth. Anyway, I'll, I'll add them to the back so we can take a look at it. Uh, I got to uh, take some knives back. You know, the ones I picked up yesterday, I sharpened this morning. I got to take those back in about 45 minutes, maybe. And that's all I know about other than the grass is calling me. Just text me and said, hey, we need a trim. It's bad when your damn grass will text you. That's bad, I'm telling you. So that's what I'll be doing this afternoon. Dun, 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 dun. That's right. What do we got here now? Nitroglycerin. Mm, a far away chick. You know, we know what a far away chick is, right? I ain't going to tell you if you don't know. Guys, roof rack blowed off. 
all the kayaks and everything blown right off the truck. That's the bad day right there now. God, what a nightmare. Well, I just cut the front grass. Now I got to cut the back and I'll be through. We got a, some kind of storm coming through, it sounds like. It's uh, 551. Now, I really got a story for you. I ain't going to tell you who it was, but you know him. You've seen him. Spinning in the land of Nada. He's down there today, about three hours, two and a half hours ago. And he's knocking along and he finds a LG phone and a little bit of clad. He's knocking along a little more and he finds an Apple phone. A couple more coins. He's knocking along and he finds another Apple phone. And a few more coins. So he's got three phones and some clad. No, no bling or anything. Well, he gets another hit. He digs it up. And he looks in his scoop, and there's a sinker in there. Well, he looks at the sinker more closely, and he gets ready to take it out, and there's two 10K rings tied to the sinker with a zip tie, like you'd tie up a bread loaf. You know, bread comes with one of them little plastic metal, plastic-coated wire things that you tie bread up with. You know what I mean. It's a 10K wedding band and a 10K engagement ring. And the wedding band, I mean, the uh, engagement ring's got three nice diamonds in it. White gold, 10K. We won't get no picture, but you just have to live with that part. That's pretty good, isn't it? Somebody was really mad at somebody. Tossed that thing in the ocean. And the surf guard said, oh, we can't have that kind of, we're going to send that back. And the, and the guy picked it right up, and there it is. Pretty good story.